Hey folks, Fernando doing another video for more survivalists and in this case talking about what's going on in Ecuador. What is happening over there? I mean, I see protests on the streets, I see violence, this is madness. Well, I'm not going to be using any of these nasty right-wing outlets because I think they're not objective enough. I'm just going to be using the commie outlets, the ones that are presenting the situation from a left-wing point of view. These are the ones that are saying that this is impossible. The president of Ecuador has to go. He is a right-wing imperialist and he should be you know, kicked out of office. That's what they're saying in this video. Has provided housing accommodations to the indigenous in the past in the form of an open-air theater with cement benches but with an important element, bathrooms. Okay, so basically you see anarchy on the streets. Following a four-year turn from social spending to neoliberalism, an indigenous uprising in Ecuador, South America, is now confronting neoliberal banker Guillermo Lasso. Oh, he's a banker. So yeah, we all know that if you're a banker, you're a piece of shit. You should be kicked out of, of office, even though you were elected democratically so as a president. If you're a banker, man, you, you have to go. <laughs> I mean, and this guy Lasso is, is more of a, of a center, it's, a, it's a, a liberal conservative thing, which sometimes you see in Latin America, like, yeah, uh, I would really like to see a country that's not a piece of shit, a third world hellhole, uh, but at the same time, I, I, I want to respect anyone in a, in a, in a very um, you know, woke manner, right? But yeah, it, could we please have somewhat of an economy and the indigenous revolutionaries say, no, we want to kick you out. <laughs> Anger at high gas prices, inflation, post-pandemic snowballs of debt. Okay, so you have, so you have high gas prices, you have inflation, you have pandemic, uh, so we destroy everything and we torch the entire country and we kick the president out of office. Uh, no, that's really not how it works. Even if you dress up like damn Pocahontas, that doesn't give you a right to overthrow the government. And that's what they're trying to do here. The relentless destruction of Mother Nature and insecurity results. Oh, so they destroyed my Mother Nature. So the president is destroying Mother Nature? You know, screw him. You know, he has to go, man. If he destroyed... Yeah, women? Women are protesting? These are all women. In... Your brown indigenous woman from Latin America dressed like Pocahontas and you have wooden spears? Jesus Christ, you know, just get rid of the president and put this woman right here in office. That's the only logical thing to do because of the environment, you know. ...from lack of jobs and social de-investment. Ecuador is a country at the boiling point. Okay, so enough nonsense. Let me just go to what we're really looking at. We're really looking at this, the commie revolution. Again, I'm not using anything that it's anti-revolutionary. I'm actually showing you what the revolutionary commies are all about. What is it they're about? I mean, I don't think you can get any more commie revolutionary than the website Izquierda Revolucionaria, which is literally in Spanish left-wing revolution. These are the guys that think that Pedro Sánchez, the socialist president of Spain, is just too much of a conservative. You know, Pedro Sánchez se cuadra con la OTAN. Pedro Sánchez aligns himself with, with NATO, down with the imperialism and militarism. Well, some of you may probably think, yeah, NATO is bad. I've been told so. So NATO has to go down. Well, if you think that you have to get rid of NATO, you are aligned with the ideology of the Izquierda Revolucionaria. What is it we have here? Alto la guerra imperialista en Ucrania. Down with the war, the imperialist war in Ukraine. They even have the tank with the Nazi symbol Z on top of it. This is how the far left operates throughout the world. Do you see it now? Is this obvious enough for you? I don't know how it could make it, I, I could make it even more obvious than this beautiful display of, of commie garbage that I have right here. Levantamiento popular en Ecuador, abajo el gobierno reaccionario de Lazo. A popular uprising in Ecuador, down with the reactionary government of Lazo. He's just too much of a, of a right winger, so we have to get rid of him. This is how the, the, the commie crap operates throughout the world. 
And it, this is part of the globalist agenda. If you think this is not part of the globalist agenda, you're not paying attention. If you think that the globalist agenda is not aligned with all of this. Now, what you're seeing in, in Latin America, though, is it's terrorist organizations disguised as Native American women organizations disguised as, uh, you know, Peaceful protest. Yeah, you're very much peaceful, but you're burning everything and slaughtering and killing people. So you're not really peaceful, are you? Well, the problem is, it is everything. Muy complicado you know, read here in the, in the translation, but people on the streets, it's not just one single problem. Muy complicada de sentir y de, de, de... It's an emotional problem. The tricks from the left are priceless. It's an, it's not just about a uh, oil price, uh, inflation, gas price. It's about the environment. It's about the native woman. It's an emotional crisis. Because of my emotional crisis, you have to leave the government. Escribir el rato que uno está en la calle. O sea, hay como una hay una angustia. Coalition. No. Extreme violence and repression ensued, and three oh, more repression. people died. The Grayson spoke to Jose Cueva from the anti mining coalition. No. Anti mining, you know, you, you're not allowed to mine, man, because of the environment. You're an evil capitalist that wants to destroy the world for your damn greed. Evil capitalist, anti mining coalition, come right in. Um, estuvo bien la asamblea, pero. La tónica de la gente, the tone, like 100% of the people, the leader, gente, indigenous, non indigenous, indigenous, no indigenous, toditos decían, everybody said, número uno fuera point number one, the president has to go. We cannot have this conservative in government, he has to go. This is what you know, we all agree the, the women, the indigenous, the anti mining, and all of the commie crap ha agrees that the president has to go. Eh, es, um, o sea, es, es lo que la gente Look at the faces. Dirty bastard, long hair. The commies are they are like cartoons. They're all kind of like the same. They all look the same. And it's so interesting. Throughout the world, whenever you see one of these commie leaders, they go on purpose with that uh, you know a no language in display. No puedes dirigir los deseos o los sentires de las organizaciones. No solo indígenas, ¿no? Ahí estaban barrios. You can't direct the desires of different organizations, indigenous, neighbors. No, if the desire is that the president has to go, well, the president has to go because pues, that's a desire. Eh, grupos así, LGBT, yo que sé, todos los... Todo. It grew, LGBTQ plus 2A fucking whatever rest of the alphabet you have there. That's also in there. If you're an LGBT, blah, 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 blah you have to be with... Uh, Commie revolutionaries, of course you have. I mean, this is super inclusive, man. We have indigenous, we have the uh, the women, uh, Pocahontas, uh, wooden spear bullshit going on. We have the LGBT, we have the anti matters We have anything that is against having a democratic government. Anything that's going to be supporting the uprising and destruction of the nation, that's coming along. Now... I find it very interesting how the the left uses this as a weapon in the West. Because if you try to pull the same LGBT plus uh, Native American or Native Russian uh, motherland uh, environment crap in Russia, which they are supporting, stop the imperialist war in Ukraine, right? And you have the Russian flag there. You know, nice right on top of, of the American one and the, the Z victory right there. If, if, you, if you try any of the LGBT woke agenda in Russia, you will get shot and thrown in prison or you'll just go missing forever. That's the kind of thing they would do to you in Russia. Now, using the same agenda as a weapon in the West... Of course, all of this, guys, basically is the following. What you're seeing now in Latin America in general is a commie uprising from the left supported by, of course, the globalist agenda of you'll have nothing and be happy with that. Basically, being a communist means you have nothing. You have nothing. You shut up, you submit, and you obey. That's the agenda of 
the globalist elites. That's the agenda that basically you have in a, in a communist regime. Do you see how all of this is working? This is happening all across Latin America. You have it in Chile as well. You have the Mapuche tribes uprising. There are no Mapuche tribes uprising. Actually, the small uh, indigenous communities left in, in South America, they're very peaceful. Usually, it's this kind of thing. It's using it as an element of... Um, of support for their communist cause. So the the real Mapuches, these are people that have been struggling for a very long time, and and, and they're not being uh, supported in any way. Let even less so by the, by the terrorists using their indigenous name uh, as a, as a battle cry. But throughout Latin America, Latin America, this goes along with the government of Venezuela, the commies in Venezuela. This is financially supported by Russia. This is financially and supported with manpower by the drug cartels throughout Latin America that they would love to see uh, a communist revolution overthrow any kind of order, civility, and law. They would love that. So that's why they have all the support. That's why they're doing so well. They're destroying Ecuador and a number of other countries across uh, South America, Latin America. And what you see from the different governments is that usually they just have too much of a soft hand. They have some presses in the street. You have some, some police they try to get back in order. But usually they just end up, you know, they fall short. They don't address this the way they should, which is you're dealing with war. You're dealing with terrorism at a global scale attacking your country. You're dealing with communists operating in your country trying to overthrow your government. So you should treat that like, uh, 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 like the war that it is. Is it a civil war because you have uh, national elements as well? Well, damn, damn, you're talking about a civil war. Most of all, though, it is from exterior influence supporting this a conflict in your country, but you cannot treat it any more like just peaceful protests that got out of control. Uh, make no mistake, this is also happening in the United States. The same elements operating in the United States are the same elements that you see in the rest of Latin America. Is the LGBT woke culture? Is the communist revolution agenda? Is the globalist agenda of let's have people that submit to authority and don't question anything ever again, guys? It's gonna be all for now. Remember. That for all of this stuff, I do write books, as I always say in my videos. For the economic aspect, you have Surviving the Economic Collapse, over a thousand reviews in Amazon, and it's doing very well. I have my uh, book with, regarding the practical aspect of survival and preparedness, Street Survival Skills, which, by the way, many of you don't know, there's a Spanish version of Street Survival Skills, which people in my Spanish channel simply adore. This book is the best-selling uh, survival book in Spanish, over 500 reviews, the most reviews any survival book has in Spanish uh, in Amazon. Dot .es, which is the, the Spanish Amazon, right? Best-selling and one of the, the amount of, uh, of comments that I get from the Spanish version of, of Street Survival Skills, people just like it a lot and, uh, and I get people, you know, sending me messages about their experiences. This happened to me on the streets. I, I remember what you said in a video. I remember what I read in your book. And man, I want to say thank you because it, it saved me in that occasion. So many messages like that. And I guess it's because it's people that are already exposed to a harder, more tough, more difficult reality than it's uh, probably what you're seeing uh, at this moment in U.S. But I just want to say that it's, uh, it's very humbling to see that uh, you know, the work I do is appreciated by, by so many of you. Anyway, folks, I hope I explain what's going on in, in, in Ecuador and the rest of Latin America with these commie groups. This, this is just beautiful. The, the way in which, I mean, they are saying it as clear as they can. A communist uprising throughout the world, which is very much aligned with the elite with a globalist agenda. See you in the next video. Take care.